All right, well, next at 10, fire danger all over California. Things, they could get worse. We'll have the very latest on the conditions. Plus, Representative Katie Hill resigns in the wake of a sex scandal. We'll have much more, including what's next for her district and Congress. Those stories and more when Sarah Donchi joins me next for KCAL 9 News at 10. Breaking news right now on KCAL 9 News at 10. Breaking news at 10 o'clock. The firestorm grows Northern California's wine country is burning as crews lose ground in the fight to contain the massive Kincaid fire. Good evening, I'm Sarah Donchi. And I'm Chris Holmes from our top story here on KCAL 9 News, also streaming on CBS and Los Angeles. Well, the Kincaid fire has doubled in size over the past 24 hours to more than 54,000 acres. Containment, it has fallen from 10% to 5%. Never good to see that for sure. 9,400 structures are now, 94 structures, I should say, are confirmed destroyed, 80,000 Structures are threatened still. More than 180,000 people are under mandatory evacuation orders, and more than 2 million people are in the dark without any power. Meantime, the fire danger is still high here in Southern California, too. As you can see, we have live team coverage. Christy Fajardo live at the Tick Fire. Amber Lee, she's tracking wind conditions. But let's start with KCON 9's Lori Perez and the Kincaid Fire. Good evening, Lori. Good evening. Today, Governor Newsom declared a statewide emergency as fire danger threatens much of the state, forcing hundreds of thousands to flee and putting millions in the dark. Uh, oh, shit. The 